Hello, in this video I shall demonstrate uh, the Arduino IDE with microbit. Uh, yes, you can use uh, Arduino IDE to program a microbit in C++ or a special version of the language that Arduino uses because Arduino has a special uh, preprocessor that uh, simplify things. You don't have to write headers, but otherwise it's C++. Um, I don't know exactly which compiler they use. Uh, I think it, it's some version of GCC. Um, so I should just uh, upload it here. Uh, and it's compiling here first. Compiling sketch. And then it should be uploaded here to BBC Microbit on COM5 in this case. Okay, so it's done uploading now. And now it's actually running because I can see it in the terminal window here. And uh, this demo is from uh, Microsoft uh, documentation website for uh, the console. They have a VT100 demo there that uh, prints in different columns and scrolls parts of the screen and does advanced things to test their implementation of uh, VT100 uh, with uh, some X term uh, add ons, extra features. Uh, but here I've uh, done it then for microbit, but it can print then in any X term uh, emulator or uh, the uh, uh, Ubuntu console in uh, Windows 10, for instance. Uh, I've implemented my own uh, GETCH, which we can see here, for the pins, uh, for the uh, A and B, but they are connected to pins on the, the microbit. Uh, so it's uh, rather simple here. Uh, just because this program needs sketch, so you use that to get further in the program. Then uh, we don't use the print and scan that much uh, because uh, I don't think uh, this library has this for serial. But I think uh, it doesn't complain when you use uh, standard I/O functions. Is scan and things like that, but I didn't use them here. I, instead, I print something and then I print uh, uh, the number here, so you can uh, do things in order instead of using print print formatted. Um, see, I go to the top here. <coughs> Uh, yes, there is uh, one function here where I read the size of the screen because uh, the original program does this using some built in function in Windows, but uh, I use it using terminal commands. So I uh, print some uh, string here, CSI. First, I set the prompt of the cursor to 999, 999, but then it can't go there, so it will go to the bottom uh, uh, right position. And then you send this uh, CSI, it's a prefix for the commands to the VT100 terminal. Uh, then you get something back, and then I do serial parse in here instead, because parsing is very good, it skips all. Uh, garbage characters and things like that. So it works very well here instead of scan if I use this. And before I clear the buffer here, it's like flush input. Uh, and then I do flush input afterwards also, if there should be garbage that I've not read. Okay, uh, so uh, and then I tested the examples also with the Arduino, so you can get the display to work and uh, uh, you can uh, read some uh, 
with the sensors also. But uh, it doesn't have equally much support as, uh, for instance, make code uh, JavaScript or TypeScript. And uh, MicroPython, you can also use the program. But uh, if you have a lot of C code, for instance, for Arduino, then you can use that uh, with Microbit. So it's, it's an advantage. Okay, bye for me.